Jonathan Moore, Philip Lucius, The Vocabulary Project. You mad, bro? Dr. Jekyll walks into the shot. Oh! Ouch. Just kidding. Roll tape. My name is Dr. Jekyll, and today we are going to be talking about... Yeah! Hey! hey! Dude! Why are you masticating my paper? Stop being nasty, mate. Nasty? Don't, don't you remember last week's episode? Masticate. It means to chew. Today, we're going to introduce to you three brand new vocabulary words. The first word is, um, dang, this is embarrassing. Uh, what's the first vocabulary word again? Exposition. Oh, oh, okay. The first vocabulary word is exposition. Exposition is a type of writing that explains something. Oh, like Rebecca Black in her new song, Friday. What? It explains how terribly, horribly I, she I, sings. I, 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 no, 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 no one likes that song. A better example would be, like, a school report on the scientists. Like, like a, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. No, 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 that's a, uh, like Albert Einstein or, uh, J.J. Thompson. What? Dude, get that out of here. <sighs> Fine. Our next word is climax. It's a moment of highest intensity or interest in a drama or a story. Like in Avatar, where that military guy made all the soldiers burn down the Tree of Life. Man, I, I liked that guy. Those blue people go this earth for messing with him. Anyway, our next word, and our final word, is allegory. Oh, that sounds really relevant. Well, actually, it is. It's when a writer uses characters to represent abstract ideas. Think of like, uh, um, you know, I can't really think of a... A good example for that. Uh, example. Wait a minute. I got nothing. Dang it. You, you like that? You like how I got all speed on you there? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. But what about you guys? You're a perfect example of allegory. Dumb boy! I told you not to break the fourth wall! Sorry, Dad. Another good example of a uh, allegory. Oh yeah, Napoleon from the book Animal Farm. He uh, represents communism and tyranny. Well, I think that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching this week's episode of. Oh, 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 come on. Oh,